to my workbench. Um, I wanted to do a little DIY video on how I made my mat box. Uh, right here on this box are some of the parts I used. We'll get into those just a little bit later in detail. Now I know that a mat box uh, without uh, filters is just really a lens hood. But uh, my camcorder does not have a lens hood. I thought this would work great for that on sunny days when I'm outside because the flags are adjustable. And uh, I think, okay, let's go over the parts and building of the rail system. The rails are half inch aluminum tubing uh, that I mounted to the camera mount using a desk lamp mount that I had around the house. The tubing fits perfectly into the mount and the mount can mount right here. But you could also use these half inch electrical cable clamps, the ones with the quarter inch screw on the top. I used a photo mate for the camera mount and I mounted a SEMA quick connect on the photo mate for the camera and a SEMA base plate under the photo mate for attaching the whole rig to my tripod. But you could use a square carpenter's nail plate. They have a number of pre-drilled holes that can come in very handy. Uh, the SEMA base plate has a removable pin system. Right here that has quarter 20 threads. I used the base plate on the bottom and then was able to connect a handle to the base plate using the quarter 20 threads here. I continued the rails back forming a gun stock type shoulder mount. Uh, I did that by drilling a hole all the way through the desk lamp mount, right here. Drilled a hole all the way through that. The shoulder pad is a nail plate bent to form a shoulder pad and a couple layers of craft foam to uh, make it a little better cushion. To create the opening for the camera and mount the flags, I used plastic electrical parts. Box frame and a round piece may be designed for mounting a ceiling light. I don't know. The flags are cut from plastic coat board. Uh, very easy to cut uh, using just a utility knife. The plastic coat board is uh, strong enough so that you can uh, put screws through it and hold the hinges in place with no problem. The flags are attached using cabinet door hinges. This allows the flags to be opened wider or closed in a tighter opening on, uh, depending on what kind of need you have. I mounted the mat box and shoulder pad on an aluminum wire guide. They have a number of pre-drilled uh, holes that make it easy to mount. So there you have it, a DIY rail system with mat box for filming outdoors in bright sunlight. I'll see you next time.